Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Radio Battle Campaign. We pick things up for episode 13 from turn 79 in the spring season of 206. So, last episode we ended by giving Cao Ren Nanjun. And we also started invading Cao Cao's land a little bit deeper just because we want to go east. He was just in the way. Uh, we're going to send this army all the way out to Wu, um, more like Sun Tzu's homeland, uh, reclaim that. And we'll also send our other two armies uh, east as well to, you know, cut off uh, Liu Yao's advance here. Maybe one army is enough now that I think about it. You know, we just need one army here to push back against this army here. And then, you know, this army can easily swing from Wu to take the rest of Danyang and then into Xingdu. That way we don't have to be too unbalanced, um, you know, all of a sudden. So that's kind of deployment. And this army can just continue on this way. Uh, we have a level up for our dear daughter. Um, I think for her fate, she will probably get her own land in the future. Maybe Xingdu will be hers. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, right now, she's going to work with uh, her husband, Gan Ning, and Huang Zhong. And I guess their job would be to go take down the High Empire here in Badong. Although, I still suspect that um, Liu Bei might just annex them. So, who knows? We're also about four turns away from potentially Zhuge Liang spawning, so we'll keep an eye out for that as well. And before we jump to the next turn, um, we'll keep that empty for now. Danyang is coming soon. Actually, no, we should probably just slap someone in there real quick for the extra income. We're going to fire two people. Uh, Yang Ren is going to leave us. The reason being we recruited him hoping to use Perceptive to capture generals, but I realized that vanguards do not have patience. Therefore, the extra 10% is rather meaningless. And I don't need another uh, random sentinel. We have plenty of sentinels uh, to use. So these two are leaving us. Over here, we do have the option to slap in an administrator. Probably... Hmm, Yujang's a bit of a waste, uh, but we don't really have a better choice unless we take Badong, but that means a war with Dong Zhuo, which I really could care less about. I mean, the only cool thing is Dong Zhuo is still alive in this campaign. That's like the only cool thing that's going on right now. Hmm. I mean, if we don't attack them, we could attack them. That means going through their land. We could sell. We could sell across, land over here, pop down, attack King Wu Tugu. It would make a dangerous neighbor here. Yeah, I don't see a winning situation. I think the winning situation is to grab Badong. So I think we do that. Alright, let's pop this. Uh, we'll grab a reform. We should get level 4 land development here. Share cropping. And we do have a few commanderies who could definitely use that right away. Even Changsha has one. Food is absolutely important for us. I'm not going to upgrade this because I think I'm going to give it away. We build a temple for mission purposes. I'm not going to upgrade this for Huang Zhu because that's who this is going to. We have missions for another building. I think tax collection is a building that we have to build. Yep. And then settlement upgrade. Land development upgrade is coming. Settlement upgrade, we probably have to wait for maybe Changsha. So here we go. Let's go Poyang. Li Dian's not happy working here, but that's what we got him for. I guess she can do it. We got these for the surplus market boost. All right. Rebellion might not happen. Who knows? If we can get enough boost uh, faction-wide, we could keep the damage to a minimum. It's not interfering too much with our population growth. It's bouncing back up. Yeah, these we won't touch. And the armies have all moved. Uh, spy situation, I think for her, what we will do is first even out the points some more. 
and then just summon her back. We'll extract her. We'll keep Guo Jun Wang in our faction for a little bit. There's no way we can get Luo Jun. He's plus 81, I think. Yep. That way we can look at who else is available in the future. And if we ever get Cao Pi, we can marry them. Happy couples. And that's where things stand. Um, administrators, right. We forgot about that. Let's uh, pop her down. It's the strategist that we had before. I forgot her name. Yeah, Wei Ping, Wei Ping, Wei Ping Meng. It's on a character. Uh, we'll grab her in here. That means this can be built for slightly cheaper and slightly faster. So we do that, and uh, we're good to go. Yanbai, who wants a non-aggression pack? Huh. Can we make that a military access? No, we can't. Twelve more turns of the contract. No, no deal. Alrighty. Another turn where Liu Bei didn't ask for independence. And we have a grandson. Gan Zhi. Good. We actually have many. Ooh. Wow, it's finally happening. So her background title, 50% diplomatic income from tributaries. We're getting so much money right now from tributaries. Like each of our vassals is worth around a thousand, even though they have like almost no land and no income because we're boosting it by Liu Bell's bonus of 50%. Now we can get another 50% if we get Zhengjiang into our air position. Oh, marriage. Zhengjiang and Sun Ce. Yes, let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. She still has her weapon. It's so good to hear. Now let's look at the other two characters that's available in case we need them. That's a no. That's a no. This is a recruit. She might be married. You never know. She is not single. Okay. They don't like each other. Hmm. You know what? At this point, it doesn't matter if they like each other. This is a good match. This is just personality clashes. Yeah. Alright, so she's now available to become our heir. But Sun so basically when Sun Tzu takes over for when Liu Bao dies, Liu Bao's bonus of 50% goes away, but then we have the backup of Zheng Jiang boosting 50%, so that would work out. And then all her bonus will also be applied. I mean, this is definitely a power couple, you know? You might not like each other, but... If they get a rivalry bonus in the same army, that could also work. 15% all damage for all forces when attacking. 100 points of action support. Um, the minus 25 income doesn't apply because she won't be a leader. Then the 50% diplomatic income. This will be amazing. Now obviously, we want her on the battlefield. He's fatigue immune and um, unbreakable. Lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Alright. That was a great... Oh, our administrator. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, he's on the battlefield as well. We're using him as a burn officer. I am tempted to offer... Cao Cao a peace deal. Liu Bei, what are you doing? Stop summoning armies. Okay, that's that's the same two army, okay. He still has six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, still so many. Anyways. Yeah, they can go up. I can use this to secure a peace deal with them, I think. Oh, I don't even need that to secure a peace deal. If we throw it in. OK, 
can we talk about this? <gasps> Tao Tao is going to join us. See? Sparing him was the right move. Alright, we pay him per turn. Then we annex him, and then the annex cooldown for Liu Bei. We wait for Pang Tong as well. And if Liu Bei doesn't join us, he doesn't join us. Wow. Yo, Dolly. I wish he declared war on us, then we can attack um, the High Empire. Wow. So, that changes a lot of things. We annex Sun Ce, we can annex Cao Cao, we can annex Liu Bei. Guess this is the definition of three kingdoms. Wow. I mean, Cao Cao is probably the one that's least likely to stay our vassal. So we have to annex him fast. And I'm debating whether we just do it now, because that gives him the least opportunity to I mean, betray us. And also, I need to know his army setup. That's the problem. I don't see the entire map until next turn. I have to wait at least one turn. That's our gamble. Hopefully he won't backstab us on this turn. She's just going to be a Simon character, so we're going to try to get the industrial ex exploitation as well. Actually, no. If she has black markets or surplus markets, then we'll never do that. So we might as well pick up something like this in case we need her to farm. But then she will never farm characters. Yeah, it's just like she's just going to be stuck on our court. So it really doesn't matter what we give her. Wow. Okay, so we can focus. Yeah, I'm, I'm not recovered from the shock yet. Okay, we're going to land and we're going to focus on... Liu Yao. I don't need to cancel it, to be honest. We, we will attack them. Oh, actually, Huang Zhong has the honorable trait. It's hard to capture people with Huang Zhong. Mm, yeah, this is not the best matchup. We could also go attack Nanha, trade it away to our son, and then eventually get into Changwu. Or just go to Changwu right away. Trespass, break through the Changwu. But then if we're gonna attack Han Empire, right, we might as well start with Badong. Yeah. I mean, even though we don't have the highest percentage capture, it's still plus 15, right? Something. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so Annex can tell us how next turn. I oh, have 48k, we're just gonna rush these. And then we'll build a tax collection. Which we will not rush. There's no point to rush that one for the mission. 14 extra food. That's going to consume some food too. So I'm not going to touch it for now. We have our empty spy position available. Oh, Mach Hall. Wow, we're getting everyone. Plus two points. Wait one turn and then extract him in case there's defense on this. All 
All right, now we're guaranteed to get him next turn. There's no way, you know, having 61 points is not enough for the 25. And then this, we know it's only plus two, so we'll get Ma Chao. Nice. So we got Zheng Jiang. Ma Chao's coming. Cao Cao's entire faction's coming. Even though we stole most of his characters already. So we've got to see who's on the map. And then Liu Bei is eventually going to come, hopefully, with Pang Tong and Zhuge Liang maybe now. Because we got to wait for the cooldown. Ooh. All right. Um, yeah, we can't upgrade settlements. That's the only, hold, only thing holding us back. But all right. That's fine. Let's continue. All right, don't draw a sign a deal. This army's on the field, so we can get Xin Yu. Okay, Zhu Ren, Cao Pi. Don't care about these. He only has two armies. Okay, that's easy to absorb. I wonder if he has more character in his roster, though. We'll extract. Uh, there's no defense. We could have got him last turn, but that's fine. Um, how can I check Cao Cao's characters? Well, this is the best I can do. It's not accurate, but... I, uh, I don't have a spy to spare. I don't want to wait another turn. Where is his faction? Come on, Cao 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 Cao. Hmm, I do want Guojia though. We wait one more turn. Like there's no way he's only summoning two armies. That's what I think. And there's no way he's betraying us after two turns. I'm not sure about that statement. I might I might slap myself on that one. Um, but let's believe. Alright, we attack here next turn. He's moving. Alright, we got Zheng Jiang sitting on the bench. Well, I can't, I don't want to summon too many armies out on the field right now because we're about to absorb a few factions, or at least Cao Cao's faction. That's at least two army slots. If he summons more, then we have to kind of adjust for that as well. Wow, okay, I can't wait to absorb him. All right, um, let's continue, I think. Yeah, everything's set. Yeah, let's continue. Yobe wants to assist us in the war, but we have to pay him for that. He wants to fight. No, not them. Oh, this faction. We don't need this help, especially if you want us to pay you for them. All right, then don't help if the points are negative, you know? Just reject. Alrighty. Fools. Ding Yi's back. She has a lot of traits. Okay, so, new army. Oh, Guo Jia, come on, get Guo Jia onto the field. Do I have to send a spy in to clean out your court to make sure Guo Jia gets on the field? I can do that. Big investment. Oh, Lu Ji is in Liu Bao's faction. I want her. Lu Bu's daughter. Alright, her first, because we can just extract her. The war is about to come, so we gotta hurry up here. Plus three. I doubt there's defense. I'm just gonna risk it. Yep. 
And then we'll work on Cao Cao's core next turn. Maybe he summoned Guo Jia next turn. Who knows? Please do. If Guo Jia's on the field, then we just annex right away. It'd be beautiful. Alright, we have landed. This war can start now. We don't have shaman item, unfortunately. We should summon the army real quick just to finish mission and then summon it back. So Tori Sun Quan is back on the job. Two missions. We don't have a deal with them. Wang Fu Zong is also still alive. I just realized that. Oh, this is a military infrastructure. Oh, and Tai Shi Ci is the administrator. Can we bag both of them? I mean, we don't see percentages because we're close to feet. It's not going to be an easy fight. I don't think we have Flaming Shot yet. Oh, maybe we just do. We just got Flaming Shot. It'd still be a tough fight. No military infrastructure. This is just the extra stack from Taishitsu being administrator. Which is tough. Okay, we'll fight. Alright, of course the turn we get Flaming Shot, it rains. And this is going to be a hard siege. We're going to have to siege here, I think. The straight wall is the easiest place to deal with it, with the river as one side of the wall. Um, I mean, we do have strong generals, so there's always hope for that. I guess we have to go regular shots here. Not really going to burn down those towers. Try it here. This is going to be a tough fight. They have really good generals too. Um, let's go here first, and we'll first punch these walls down, or these towers down. Ju Huan's in the back. Rivals with who? Oh, Yang Feng. Hmm. I want all three. We whiff the first shot? And we whiff the second shot. <laughs> this might be very difficult. Yeah, with this accuracy, it's not gonna work. Ready, fire three shots. Not even a scratch. Wow. Um, we can use the archers, fire shots in the rain. <sighs> I can siege them, trick them to come out and fight me on the open field, pull out of this fight, because I, I don't think this will do anything. Yeah, okay, I'm not even going to damage them anymore and siege them and just, you know, cycle siege. I'm going to pull out and then maintain the siege, so not cheating here. And what we will do is we'll just basically say we try to siege, it rained, bad weather, reset the siege, and um, we'll maintain the siege. We'll enter back in for new weather. And if they want to come out in between turn to fight us with their army, we'll take their army in the open field. Um, if they don't, uh, we'll try again to siege again next turn, and then see if we get a different weather. So I think that's realistic enough. I uh, have to make sure that people don't think we're cheating too hard. Okay, let's do this, and then pull back. There you go. I'm just routing. It's like, oh, our allies are all gone. Alright. Alrighty. Yeah, we accidentally killed 16 men. Excuse us, you know, misfired. Yeah, we'll maintain the siege, and then if they want to fight us, they can. 
Have a few level up here. D Link sitting pretty. Got leveled up. Um Yeah, flexibility. Zhang Hyang. Getting tired sitting on the bench. Well, I don't have army slots. I can't really do anything for you, my friend. Here. Plus 10. Ah, drunk. Flaming shots first. Alright, so they're just maintaining the siege. I think that's fair. Everywhere else is fine. I believe everything else was done already. She's coming back. We stole Lupo's daughter. Uh, Diplomacy is going great. We have a 10 turn deal with Tal Tal, so I'm not too concerned there. We're paying him actually every turn right now. I mean, he has no land. Why would I want him? He's actually trusting. Like, he's not bad. Just if he has no land, I can't do anything with him. Alright. Nope. Let's just continue. Pray for Guajia being summoned. Alright, they came out to fight us. So, totally fair. That's exactly the scenario we envisioned. And uh, we're going to fight them on the open field. They still have a sizable force. Outnumbers us by a bunch. So... It's gonna be rough. Let's go. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Lots of trees. And it's not raining. So, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news, maybe a little bit too much tree. That we can't see clearly where they're coming from. But I guess we'll fight here. It's also fog. Okay, and there's heat fatigue. Which is all bad news for them if they don't march. The, mm, right, how do we make them march up to us? That's the key. We'll probably have to bait with our generals. Uh, the fire arrow is not going to impact too much. So I think we'll do something like this. We'll do three archer line. Regular arrows. And then one archer fire arrows. And I think I, I like the logic of this setup. At least this is how I see it. So the idea is, fire arrow shoots quite slow, right? So um, it's not efficient to get everyone on fire arrow, but the morale damage is really good. So you put it slightly behind your other archers, so the units that survive your other archers and it's getting close to you get shot by the fire archers to help make them, you know, uh, route. And you know, it will, it will cycle off that target once they route and find another one who's closest. That way, you don't just waste your damage with your fire arrows in the front. So. That's my new logic of how to set up archers. Not sure if it's, you know, correct, but I, I it makes sense in my head. So we're gonna do we're gonna go with that. Uh actually, why don't we just open up the left flank? Cause that way we can hide our cavalry here and charge out. She'll sit pretty with uh, with some of the river, and these two would be scouting for us to draw them back to our tribuche. Now they're probably gonna gather up their forces together before charging us, which makes total sense. The city in the background, it's so cool. The map design is really really nice. All right, we don't want to bump into them directly in the forest. Okay, there they are. They might just sit still for a couple because they might not see where we are. We have to kind of guide them. Here, here we are. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, this way. See us? We're right here. If you disrespect us, we will snipe you. Ah, uh, here they come. They might group up, make a formation, and stop moving forward. It's a possibility. Where is our range? Where is our range? Where is our range? Can't see it in the trees. It's definitely in the trees. Okay, it's kind of like here. Okay. We have how many shots? 11. We should really summon our second burn officer. We have one sitting on the bench, but it takes an army slot, so that's the trade-off. 
Alright, they're coming from largely the direction that we want them to come. And we are going to start firing. Once they get closer, once they all disappear from vision, the idea is we want to burn some of these trees. And we'll try to micro in two different slots so the fire can be a little bit spread out. If that makes any sense. Or else we're lighting up like the same tree. They're burning! Ooh, hail of arrow. From that distance, though? Good luck. I mean, it scratched us. But, like, it's not real damage. We'll show them real hail of arrow damage. Somehow the fire on this side worked really, really well. If they want to have a go with our cavalry, we're more than happy to do so. They're not leaving the forest for some reason. Do they, do they want to stand here? Uh, we're going to stop hitting them for a little while, let the fire burn out a little bit. I feel like we can snipe these two. They're moving really stupid. Like, Yang Feng wouldn't want to kill, because uh, he's level 1. But Xu Huang, being the fact that he has a like, huge axe, kind of want to just take him down. Oh, uh, they're waiting for the reinforcement army to move through the burning forest. Yikes. Oh, 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 oh. They charged us. They charged us. My mistake. Do not fire. Charge Xu Huang. Ah, I think they realized they fell into a trap. But then they backed off from the trap. Uh, we don't want to... Go, 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 go! Back off. We don't want to get whacked. Xu Huang's going to get melted by our cavalry. We're going to wait. Xu Huang's unbreakable. Elf arrows. Trying to hit our tribuches. Come on, finish him. And then just swing this way after you kill him. Oh my god, how many hail arrows do you have? How is Yuhan not dead? Now we have to cover for our back line. There we go, there we go. I should still get a whack a couple times. You guys can fire well now, but hopefully at the range units. And you guys can start firing at... Oh my god. Oh my god. My mistake. Cavalry, get back. Ah, uh, ouch. Hmm. Not great. Ru on him. Alright, we'll hit him a couple times just to get his morale down. You stay on him. You'll probably bounce back, my guess is. I mean, we have this one, no problem. 
that's not the issue. Issue that was just not clean. You stay on that. Alright, leave him alone. He's probably gonna route. A warning shot him. He really wants to go. Okay. You guys are out. Just move back. Nah, he's not coming back. Finish that up. Alright, no cavalry, no problem. We'll get a very, very nice hell of arrows. Teach them how to use it. Oh, she's losing. Go help her. Rao, you fool. Oh, I didn't even get to see the effect of that. Oh my god, Taishitsu. Roar. Let me roar. There we go. Let's hit him a couple times, but not too many. Alright, that's, that's too many already. Too many! Stop! Stop! Do not kill him! It's okay, soldiers' lives are not that important. This doesn't hurt him. This just routes him. Oh my god, they're trying to mess with me. I don't want to accidentally swing at him. It's very, very likely. Here, we'll charge into something first. You guys are very annoying. Did you know that? Alright, you route. It doesn't work. He's gonna route, he's gonna route. Can we get a shot on him? We might not be able to. One of our unit might take the shot by accident, but we're gonna pray that it hits him. Uh, hit one of our guys. Alright, we whack him a couple times. We can't kill the generals. Stop charging us! We have charge reflect! Get away from us! Oh my god, you fool. Alright, run. Stay away from him. Yeah, he's done. Just get away from him. They're done. They, we won. No one dies here. I don't even want to kill all the garrison, even though it's probably easier for us afterward. Uh, but it's okay. just want to capture them. Alrighty, fingers crossed. It's already been very lucky. Couple turns. Alright, Yang Feng will take him. So, the key about him is the White Wave Warlord. Plus 10% character experience, minus 10% retinue upkeep. Excellent. He's 59 though. He's probably gonna leave us very soon with old age, but we should be able to use him. But that's one. That's the most difficult one, because he has no resilience, uh, resi uh, resist resiliency. There we go. Quite a mouthful. Alright, Cao Cao did summon a new general. He died. Factions played destroyed. Yep. Don't draw us attacking the world again. Ah, uh, it's not good yet. Okay. So that means we have to use some spy actions to pull Guozia out. Oh, she's still coming back. We gotta wait another turn. Ah. Uh. 83. Zhuge Liang anywhere? We didn't get the event pop-up. Usually it tells the world that Zhuge Liang has joined Obey. So... I guess not yet. And this army's... Liu has another army that sailed down. Yes, that's the one we really want. He's not on the field right now. So we have to wait. We have to wait till he bounces back.
Yeah, we'll just continue sure. siege. Alright. Someone's unhappy. It's probably Hua Xiong. No. Our other Burn officer, who needs to come onto the field, to be honest. But I don't have a army slot. Here, you also take this for now. Really? I can pay. Prevent red faces for debuffs. Oh, Jiang Gong. Uh, don't care. How are the ratios this bad? This is what? Salt mine, right? Yeah, should be easy. We gotta fight it. I don't want to take that much casualty. We gotta take Danyang after this. Alrighty. So, beautiful snowy day. This would do. I'll dare them to come out. They very likely will. Um, but they do have a big force and they're favored to win, so maybe they won't. You never know with the AI here. And that would be a no. So let's first take the towers. Probably just one volley each. I trust the fire will spread. Yep. Wow, that was a direct hit. Um, because that's gone, we can scout a little. I need some vision, I need to know what's up. I mean, I want to get rid of those uh, wooden stake as well as these guys right here. They also seems to be... If they have these, they should have wool puddles. I don't know which door they put it on, but like we could probably burn a door down if we want to. I'll just keep pounding this area. So I'm gonna get rid of these spear guards and also these wooden stakes if we can. Still a lot of spear guards. The wooden stake, I thought they could die to the shots. Apparently not. Maybe we, if we don't do fire, we'll test that theory out. No, the wooden stakes are fine. I don't really care about the range cluster. It's really about these three spear guards, to be honest. The rest of them we can run around with our cavalry, no problem. <laughs> no one has a bow? He has a bow. No, he doesn't have, have a bow. Alright, spear guards are all gone. We still can't charge in with our cavalry here. Unless we can draw their general out. And his general somehow didn't crush any of these coming out. There's one that dropped here. Yeah, the cavalry is not going in through this. That's suicide. I guess we could have our general walk through them.
敌将受手，贼众溃不成军。We have two roars. Yeah, this might be our quick and easy solution. Kill her too. She's unbreakable. Okay, she must die then. Oh, it was not as good as I thought it was going to be. They're all pulling back towards the capture point. Ha! Ru Zheng Zheng Ri Shang, Wu Xin Shen Wei. 住口！李胜利又进了一步。陈普 ，Why don't you come help too？ 不要留情！杀呀！哦 ，Would be funny if she actually get killed by that. 哦 ，traps on the ground. She's dead. She can't get out of this trap. 敌将受手，贼众溃不成军。就只有这点能耐吗？向前进军。Man, it's ready over. This unit is ready to use the sword. Win? Oh no. Alright, roar on them. Capture that. Alright, army loss. It's gonna kick in. No? There we go. All right, we retaken Wu. Alrighty. Jiang Gong. I, I don't think he got the treatment in the game, right? He's just a generic laborer. We'll take him though. We'll pay. Finally, extra army limit. Eight. Zhengjiang also could. Oh, she's not currently in a position, but she will need to be. Picking up reach for us. All right. We'll let him lead for the reach bonus. Then when we get there, we'll swap. Oh, Sima Fang. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna target that next. Gonna choke this army right here. That should hold things steady. We don't have a spy position available. This is still maintaining siege. We could force it, but we're waiting for the respawn of uh, Xu Huang. So that's gotta wait. Oh, can't do anything here. Okay, so we can't do much. Um, governance is still flying. We're gonna hit a thousand soon enough. Yeah, doesn't seem much we can do. We can't force him to get anyone. We just gotta force these characters to leave him. That way we can get Guo Jia on the field.
And all the missions are done. Except for a settlement upgrade. Ooh, that's hard to do actually for us. Like Poyon technically. I mean this for a for, for another building slot. Or the mission. It's not bad. It's a good bonus. And if this minus one turn, we can wait, and this will be six turns. Perfect. And the last building here. I mean, arguably, arguably, probably just administrative office would be the best choice. We don't have that reform. Right, so there's no need to rush. All right, let's continue. Gong Sun ditched the coalition. That's fine. He's very strong in the north. He's probably one of the emperors. And he invites us. I mean, we're already in this one. I'll invite Gong Sun Zan, but he'll say no. I mean, we'll accept. They'll like the fact that we accept, but then like Gong Sun Zan will just kind of say no. So, okay, nothing too dramatic. Liu Chong finally died of old age. You die. Okay. Thief, but far away from Poison Volley, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's time to grab some of like I know he Ooh Lord Jun. Everyone's coming to us this uh, this this episode actually. One episode we grabbed so many characters. Alright, no new army from Tall Tal. Uh well it's gonna have to be delayed again, just because we gotta grab Lord Jun now. I mean absolutely gonna grab Lord Jun. Because Liu Chong died, this is our opening. This is like the one turn we can do it. Plus 13. Okay, that's a hefty amount of defense. So we're going to double up. Actually, we have so much of this. Oh, we had so much of that. Plus 13 will be at 38. Extract. Yeah, nobody else we wanted, so that's perfect. And then we'll just wait another turn or so. Uh, Cao Cao might be going after them, which is totally fine by me. Uh, we can't reach even in two turns. We're going to march. Yeah, it's a trespass, but what can they do about it? Liu is also here. Wait, did they dissolve the other army? Okay, Liu has one. I still wouldn't summon Liu Bei first. I wouldn't annex Liu Bei first, though. That doesn't make sense. Cao Cao is more treacherous, more likely to leave us. Huh. Well, Zhuge Liang is not on the field. Yeah, you can see Gong Sun Zan is really, really strong. This is all Gong Sun Zan. Yuan Shao, Zhang Yan, Ma Teng, Han Sui. Dong Zhuo is very weak now. Liu Bei is kind of split up. Tao Ying, Tao, uh, Tao Ying, Tao Cao, Kong Rong, us. All right. Um, we're running out of military supplies here. Wei Wu Bu Qu. There's no percentage on him because we're not predicted to win. Let's fight. 
Alrighty, so here we are in the same battle map, and uh, we're gonna obviously put our forces over there. And since the weather is good, we should have no problem here. Fire ammo. We'll probably just crush these three. And we'll go from there. One volley each. We can probably pick off Taishitsu with just the bow. He probably wouldn't move. I mean, difficulty shooting. There we go. Much better. This way, we'll at least have some ammo left over. Or not. Oh, 99%. So, yeah, we will. Three volleys, three structures. Our four volleys. Ah, this one's always kind of hard. We can send the fire archers if we have to. Oh my god. Alright, we got it. Okay, now let's see. Which part of the wall do we want to crumble? Holy... Not overlapping, so probably this part. Let's take this first. They don't have a lot of anti cavalry now I look at it. Alright, we'll crack this open. We're gonna flood our cavalry in at the end, probably. Tell me we can crack the wall. Okay, at least we cracked the wall. Alright, we still have fire damage here. Let's burn part of the town. Which part, though? Maybe this part? There we go. You guys are done. Go back. You guys move up. But first, we snipe. Ooh. Ow. One more shot. I'll just let him route. Now it's our turn to set up for health arrows. We don't have a lot of health, so I'm gonna borrow him here as well. Yeah, this is a nice and easy opening for us. I guess not routed. Oh, it's because most of their unit died on the wall, so the morale's not dropping proportional to their loss. Okay, that's who we wanted to draw over. He's not moving. Three shots. I'm not getting hit by that cleaver. I mean, we can go outside and hit him. He's not going to chase outside. Actually, once he stops moving. It's not coming back. Hmm. I mean, we have unlimited roar here. I'm going to use it. Oh, 
逃窜，一群懦夫。哦、oh, ，engage us on the edge。Move out, move out of the way. Ah,、uh, got distracted by those, or else we would have got a close range shot. Hono、mm, got whacked by the cleaver. He's routing. Don't you run away from us? Cancel it. Cancel it. I mean, if we get one of them to fall, the other would heal. You did not do well. You are really a poor boy. 完成不屈，敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。He's stuck in the rocks. We'll route him. The rest should be pretty easy. We'll use the cavalry to kill Xu Huang. Make sure he doesn't shoot us. We're here. 发誓要将你斩杀。离胜利又近了一步。Go on the walls and kill them. He's unbreakable. Never mind. A look at our charge bonus damage. Slowly erase his health. Until he drops.
He's got pretty decent morale, but let's see if he gets braced in time. He's just retreating right now. See, we still got charge reflected there, right there. It's okay. Still worth it. I'll just end this quickly. And uh, we have engaged with their archer units too. There we go. Pretty clean. Weather does beauties here. Saved us so much ammo. Alrighty. We got his book. We got him, but he's not willing to work for us. Titus is also not willing to work for us. So we'll get the fondness this time. I'm not going to execute for the items. This means um, they will probably be resummoned in Changwu if they get resummoned at all. If they don't get resummoned, then we're just hoping for the end of the Han Empire. And then we'll pick them up if the fondness carries through. Uh, if not, then tough luck, right? Let's see, this gets fixed, I don't want that. That gets fixed, I want Administrator here rather than, say, Yu Zhang. Actually, I want to do this swap. So, we would dismiss him here. And then reapply him. Perfect. And then we'll come to here. Dismiss her here. Uh, see, this didn't didn't work all the time. Just hmm, okay, that's fine. I mean, she'll be a little sad, but no big deal. I think it's because we did the flip in that commander already, so we can't like do it infinite times. He needs a different title. You gotta get the commerce one up. Because the commerce one has to stay in Changsha. Instead. Wait, where is his group? There it is. Industry is also not important for him. It's better for Pu uh Puyang. We don't have these. All right, we'll take this off of him. He's going to be a little angry at us, but he'll bounce back. Here, we'll give him this for the public order and the resolve. And we will have a Forge Master once we get Tal Tal. But the bonus is not really important, so we're not going to use that on him. Forge Master is better on the leader for the extra industry. All right, um, I'm not so desperately rushing lodging buildings anymore since we are about to max things out so we're already using something to build we're not gonna rush that down let's see what else we got to do that might be the last thing we need to do this turn oh right no we still got a bunch of things uh reform we get the level five land development and the level five livestock i believe <laughs> We have um, pseudo alliance, but I think it's still it's trespassing to Liu Yao, so we don't. Hmm. All right, we see his army. That's perfect. Should we just smash it? I think we should. We declare war on him this turn. Next turn he attacks. We could have spared the trespassing too, but that's fine. Um, we'll keep that as is. Time to pump these to five, pump these to five, starting with the livestock. We'll go with the more food, less income option, because this is really all about food here. Uh, Poyang is fine. We have this going to five, this going to two. We want to pump out our army to hold on to the city because we have a rebellion next turn. We have a bunch of choices. But strategist seems to be the most lacking group. So we'll start with the strategist. I know usually we don't farm rebels with strategists, but this eventually will evolve into a real army. So it's not really just looking for temporary usage. Oh, okay. Huang Gai gets to shine. Huang 
Wow, no one works well with them. Li Dian. Hmm. I don't want to pass. This feels like a Chen Gong problem. <laughs> right. Like we can't. I mean, we can set up Sun Quan, but I'd rather not. Hmm. You know what? I want Zheng Jiang on the field. You know, whoever can work well with her gets the job. No need for any of these retinues to stay with us. They're just generic bandit units. They're not very good. And we used up our deployment limit, but this army will have movement now that we have summoned them. We have so much money that we're just going to rush these. And over here, I think we're going to go down the main route here for the 500 base income and just up the population of Changsha insanely high and then we'll take advantage of all that. And since this is our capital, this makes sense. And we'll just pump it to the highest here right away, even though we have nothing else to build. Now over here, we do have other things to build, so these will make a lot of sense. Our food's at 23. Which means I can't afford another 10 food consumption here uh, just to keep pushing that population. We'll get a little extra commerce income boost. Maybe it's a little excessive. Maybe we have a lot of other things we gotta go tall first. For example, Danyang and Poyang. So I think we'll go from 6 towards, what's this right now? 24, 18 food? Uh, it's a little high, but we can also put a land development here later on. So let's start pumping this up. Hmm, we're getting food contributions from Lujiang that's going to be lost. Yeah, we need Cheng Wu. Uh, we have food, we can do this one, no problem. Alright, I think we're good to go to next turn. Never mind, almost forgot about that. Don't be at war with Zhang Chao, that's easy, we can just destroy them. I'm sure that's not what they meant. Forge an alliance with Hua Tuo. Changsha Chi Bi. Okay. Raise a force. Okay, so we can use one of the deployment limit next turn to do that, and then the two other ones to farm rebels here. They're just gonna rest up for a little bit. Oh, I know something we can do with our money. Go for our faction unique Imperial Defenders, because now they're rank 6, so we can actually recruit them. Now you see that we have Azor Dragon unlocked as well with the latest reform, but I don't think they fit our army very well. Oh, actually, Bongzhong is known for the archeries. So having a hybrid unit here, hmm, let's try that. I know we lose like all the shield bonuses. So maybe we do two of these and four of those. I think that could work. We should probably also swap these. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna declare war on this side. I don't mind if they move around. It doesn't really benefit us to attack them now. Alright, we took her off because we want Badol next turn. This is fine. He's coming back to us. It's actually a lot higher than it was before. I think I've seen 38s before. Alright, this is where things stand. Let's end. Alrighty. John Chao got wiped, so we shouldn't be at a war with them. There we go. Uh, get some population growth. And Cao Cao did it for us, which is good. He didn't summon any new armies, which is a little sad. I guess that's what we were waiting for. We're going to use some spy actions to get him fixed. But overall, this episode has been amazing. We have picked up Luo Jun, we picked up Zheng Jiang, we picked up Ma Chao, we picked up the entire faction of Cao Cao. So Cao Cao and Xun Yu is basically in our back pocket. Uh, Guo Nuwang can reunite with Cao Pi as well. We can pick up Cao Pi. Um, 
and I'm waiting for Zhuge Liang to be summoned into the Obey's faction, which can happen anywhere between now and turn 90, and then I believe turn 90 to turn 100 is when Pang Tong would spawn as well. So we can wait for that. Um, elsewhere, we're making the push in Badong. We're probably going to get started with a war with the Nanman factions, which might create some friction, but I think most other factions on the map will love that. Uh, the war out east will also uh, cons uh, like resume, or not resume, commence next turn. Liu El is kind of on the run here. Um, I'm okay with him moving away, to be honest. We could have smacked him last turn, but I don't think we needed to. Um, I don't want to really capture any of these guys. He won't join us. Uh, we might as well go after the empty lands and then trade them away. So that's going to be our goal. Uh, Sun Tzu will start taking back Dayang for us, and we'll see you guys then. Bye!